welcome to the special edition of Vantage from Bari. It's the last day of the G7 summit here. The meetings are done. The photos have been clicked. Some of the leaders have even left. It's what many call a slow day here because the focus has shifted to a resort near Lucerne. That's where Switzerland is hosting the Ukraine Peace Summit. About 100 countries are attending, but no Russia. So what's the point of this summit? Will it actually lead to something? Also, why is Cuba emerging as a battleground for, for US-Russia rivalry all over again? A look at the big takeaways from Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's meetings at the G7 summit. Why are Maloney and Macron clashing over abortion rights? What does the G7 family photo say about this year's summit? Car maker Hyundai has filed for an IPO in India. We'll tell you why this is big news. South Africa's Ramaphosa is back as president, but with a coalition government. And are you heading to Italy this summer? Well, then we have a special report for you. The famed Italian summer may no longer be so pleasant. All this and more coming up. The headlines first. Did a Russian bomber violate Sweden's airspace? Stockholm says a Russian Su-24 bomber came into its airspace near the strategic Baltic Sea island of Gotland. Swedish military claims it left only after they scrambled two fighter jets. The incident comes just three months after the Scandinavian country became a full member of NATO. France, Germany, the UK condemn Iran. It comes after the United Nations atomic watchdog said Tehran was expanding its nuclear capacities. The three countries said Iran's move undermines the landmark 2015 deal on its nuclear program. The US, under Trump, unilaterally withdrew from the deal in 2018. North Korea is building roads and walls inside the demilitarized zone, according to reports. The demilitarized zone separates North Korea from the South. Last week, South Korean forces fired warning shots after North Korean soldiers briefly crossed the military demarcation line. Chinese Premier Li Qiang on a four-day trip to Australia. He calls for shelving differences with Canberra. Economic relations between the two countries have improved since Prime Minister Anthony Albanese came to power in 2022. Li is the second most powerful man in China after President Xi Jinping. And Singapore's Sentosa Island beaches closed due to an oil spill. The spill at a nearby port was caused by an accident on Friday. Black residue from the oil slick was visible on the beaches of the popular tourist destination. <laughs>